is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Well, I'm coming back from a pretty good day off that I had yesterday. As you guys know, I take one day off a week to spend with my girl and run errands and do shopping and the like. Had a really good day yesterday because I stayed unplugged from the internet, which was great because the internet was... All abuzz with the usual haters and idiots trying to slander me with complete nonsense and out of context clips and videos. Fuck that, Phil. You are a dirty, rotten liar. You are a liar and you are a fucking bold faced, dirty liar, which they do all the time. They do it all the freaking time. And, you know, it gets to the point where it doesn't bother me. Of course it does. But I'm so glad that yesterday I stayed unplugged from the internet, did not pay attention to any of that nonsense. And I ended up having a really great day yesterday uh, with Kat, uh, doing a lot of interesting stuff. And, you know, I needed it. I needed to unwind. I needed to unplug from all that crap for a day. Okay? Sound good? All right. So now, very quickly, let me just get the stupid negativity gar garbage out of the way. Because some people are confused about what's going on. This is a very simple one, guys. Here's what happened. On Thursday, I did a special podcast. My podcast returned for the first time in six months. And I had a 40-minute segment... Discussing depression, because I suffer from it. I've had it for most of my life, most of my adult life, you know, ever since I became a teenager is when it first started afflicting me. A silver-tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just going to say it one way, and hopefully you'll believe it, even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar and lying to everyone. But people are believing it because they don't know any better. Um, and I had a real heartfelt segment about it, you know, talked about stuff I've never talked about publicly before. And since then, I've gotten a lot of people have come to me and said, thank you very much for sharing. It actually was a very interesting segment. Some people said they suffer from it themselves and they felt better after hearing the segment. Some people said they don't suffer from it, but it actually helped spread awareness and they appreciated that as well. All right. So the segment was great. And people in general have, have uh, enjoyed it, okay? What? What the fuck? Are you fucking serious? However, you guys know I have, sadly, a group of people who are toxic... Uh, individuals who follow me around and try to do everything they possibly can to hurt me and make me look bad. So immediately when I started doing this segment, they said, he's lying, he's a faker, he's full of shit, he's a bad person, he's trying to get attention, herpaderpader, all right? The usual bullshit. And you know what? Quite frankly, I knew that that was going to happen, all right? I knew that people were going to be nasty to me, but I personally said, it's okay, I will take the abuse. If, if, if that segment helped a single person, then it's worth it for me to take whatever abuse I'm going to get afterward from these scumbags, okay? So, that's exactly what happened. For about 24 hours, they just attacked me nonstop, saying that I'm a liar, and I made it up so that I could try to get attention for myself, and yada, yada, yada. Whatever, right? When you watch me on a stream, you're getting pure, unadulterated fill. You're getting out of me my pure, uh, you know, opinion on the matter. For the most part, you, you're, it's pure fill. You're getting the real deal. You're not getting... The fake acting, Phil, you're not getting a Muppet, like I like to call some other streamers who, oh, 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 they overact for the camera, they have the dyed hair, and they have to be this certain stereotype to make money from kids. I'm not like that, and you guys know that. For <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing a woodwind instrument. I'm Japanese. <laughs> 10 years, I've prided myself on being the real me, not some bullshit character to make money. All right. Good. Now I'm away from that annoying fucking bitch of a kid who I would have slapped in real fucking life if they talked to me like that. <laughs> give me your money. Money sucking tentacles. Fuck you. Fuck you. Give us more money. Uh, I need that money to pay my bills. How much would it take for to get Phil... Out of, you know, being financially tight. Well, hey, $10,000, you got to remember, a third of that goes to the government. So essentially it would be $6,666, 6 
would help me a lot. It actually wouldn't even get me out of my tax situation right now, real talk, but it would help tremendously. I made a ridiculous fuck ton of money. Quick buck, quick buck, quick buck. The money is mine and I want the money. Is saying, how can we have revenue streams from idiots? How do we fool the common moron into giving us money for zero effort? I need to raise a lot of money this month. I need th that money, I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. For 10 years, I've prided myself on being the real me, not some bullshit character to make money. All right. That was my depression. <laughs> Well, th uh, Friday night, I was starting up my stream to finish up Unravel 2, and we had a guy who already is an established troll. This guy has been timed out and banned from the chat before. He's asked moderators to get back in, and they let him back in. So, basically, this is a guy who is a well-known troll. He's done this before. All right. So, Friday night, he's in the stream chat. Now, stream hasn't even started yet. I'm just starting to talk on stream. And this guy is spamming the stream chat. I'm not saying, oh, once or twice. I'm talking about, like, spamming the fucking stream chat saying that he is depressed, and he needs attention, and everyone's ignoring him. No one in the chat will talk to him. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm being a bad person because I'm not addressing him and I'm ignoring him. Yada, yada, yada. So if you were actually here on the stream and you saw what was going on, you would blatantly see this guy is a troll. He's a known troll. He's done the stupid stuff before. And by the grace of us being nice to him, we let him back into the stream chat. Here he is again doing it again. He's obviously making fun of me for my depression segment, right, on the show the day before. <gasps> oh my god! And people were all disgusted. Basically, people were ignoring him to the point where, like, uh, I got two private messages at the time from people saying, Could you do something about this guy? He's spamming the chat. He's annoying us. This is stupid. So I'm looking at all this happen. And I stopped the stream. I said, all right. I said, if you really are depressed. He says he's depressed, everyone. Let's see what he has to say, since he's just screaming for attention in the stream chat. Let's see what this guy actually has to say, since he's derailing the whole chat. And I waited. I waited a good 30 to 45 seconds on pre-stream for this guy to say something. He says nothing. And I said, well, you see, I think that the guy was really just trolling. And then he responds, oh, I'm not even paying attention anymore. So I said, all right, well, since you derailed all of our chat and made us, you know, spam the stream chat, annoyed the hell out of everyone, I'm going to time you out. I didn't ban the guy. I didn't talk shit about the guy. I didn't insult the guy. I just said, all right, we're just going to time you out because you were derailing the chat. All right? Super Meat Boy is in the stream chat whining and complaining, saying that I never talk to anyone unless they tip me or they send me money, which is completely false. A silver-tongued talker, right? All he's been doing is sitting there all night complaining that he's depressed and no one cares. And everyone's basically ignoring him because you're like, dude, we just don't care. You know, you come in, the first thing you say is you're depressed. And what are we supposed to say to that? Now he expects that I'm going to derail the whole stream to talk to him live. So let's do it. Super Meat Boy, how you doing? You're really depressed tonight, huh? You're really depressed. <laughs> Gotta derail my whole stream and be negative in the stream chat. Because no one's paying you attention. So now I'm paying you attention, alright? So here we go. How you doing? <laughs> now you're getting the attention you want, so let's talk. What do you want to talk about? Here we go. Super Meat Boy, here we go. What's up? What's going on? Now he's not talking. Now he's silent. I give him his time to shine. He's, he's, everyone's ignoring him, and he wants attention. I'm giving him the attention he so craves, and now I hear no, no response. Where's the work? What do you want to talk about? What's going on? Crickets. Crickets. All right, so there you go. <laughs> exactly. See, here's the difference, guys. I can tell the difference between someone who's being legit and someone who's literally just trying to derail the stream. And there you go. Crickets. And now he says, I'm not even listening anymore. All right, great. Well, now you can be timed out for derailing the entire stream. You complained you derailed the whole stream. So now we give you your time to talk, give you your attention you so crave, and then you... Don't pay attention. Well, now you can sit outside the stream for 10 minutes. Good Lord. You know, sometimes you got to realize that streams aren't just about you. That maybe, just maybe, there's a streamer trying to put out content and there's other people watching. And it's not just about you.
I'm just saying. All right, that was fun, wasn't it? Like I said, I could tell legit. You can tell when someone's being, you know, serious and actually wants to talk about something important. And you can tell when someone's just being a jerk trying to get, you know, derail the chat or whatever. So, bye-bye. All right, Super Meat Boy came back into the chat just to prove that he was a troll all along. And it's now been permanently banned. <laughs>
things always seem to make a sense. Do you really think that out of nowhere, with no reason whatsoever, I would all of a sudden call someone out in the stream chat? You know what I mean? Do you really think that I want to derail my chat or derail my stream? Of course not. You know, for me, I'm doing pre-stream. I'm talking with people, having fun. Do you think I want to do that? Of course not. Do you want to play the fucking game? I was actually being nice to the guy. I know you're lying. A silver-tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just going to say it one way, and hopefully you'll believe it, even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar and lying to everyone. But people are believing it because they don't know any better. Rather than just saying, well, fuck you, permanent man, screw you. I was trying to be nice to the guy to prove that if the guy had legitimate concerns, he would have gotten, you know, attention for it. Obviously, there was none, which I knew from the get-go because the guy was a known troll. But I was trying to be fair, right? And now people are going to twist that to try to get, to get to make me look bad. You know what? If anyone actually thinks that watching a clip completely out of context proves anything, I'm sorry, you are ignorant. And that is the bottom line. Everything in life has a context. Everything. Okay? So you need to know the context. I mean, that's really stupid. Really stupid. And I'm just very happy that yesterday I was on my day off. Because if I had to put up with that shit, uh, you know, it was a normal work day and all day all I saw was that stuff, it probably would have really, really upset me. But instead, I was able to have a day unplugged from the internet with my girl. I had a lot of fun. I haven't had sex in ages. <laughs> and I came back today refreshed, and I'm like, you know what? I'll just very briefly address this on the pre-stream, get out of the way so the crap is out of the way, shovel the crap out of the way, right? And move on. The bottom line is the people who were actually on the stream knew, saw the whole context of the situation and had no problem with anything that happened at all. Everyone was like, okay, good. He, t he dealt with the troll. He didn't insult the troll. He just got rid of him. And now we, know we could have a fun stream. And that's what the whole point was. But these idiots will continue to take stuff out of context to make me look bad. There's nothing we can do about it, you know? It's going to continue to happen over and over. And, you know, it is what it is, guys, you know? It is what it is. And, uh, you know, just deal with it. What can I say? You know, we all have to deal with it. It sucks. Uh, the bottom line is us carrying on positively and just having fun on stream is the best way to address it. As more people come in, and will probably undoubtedly spam the stream chat and spam my social media with, with unwarranted hate because they're basically ignorant people who don't do two seconds of research to find out a whole situation. This will probably go down as just another one of the things, like... Phil scammed his patrons. Oh, you're gonna get salt, 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 salt. It's, oh, even now, I'm getting my mouth overpowered with salt flavor. I actually still get people, you scammed your patrons for Super Mario Sunshine. People are, are saying that to me, and I'm like, I played Super Mario Sunshine. We had, a, we had a Patriot's Choice event, right? I played two games for the event. I first played Spyro, then I played Super Mario Sunshine. So I gave double as much for that Patriot's Choice event as I was obligated to, and they have turned it into, I scammed my patrons. I mean, this is the idiot, idiotic stuff these people say. It doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I was just like, huh? But undoubtedly, it'll just become one of those things. You know what I mean? It really will. It'll become one of those stupid things where this is one of the things that we spin to make Phil look bad despite the fact there's zero factual basis for any of it. Um, so anyway, that being said, that's out of the way. And I'm not going to say anything else about it, you know. And we're just going to move on positively and ignore it. So let all of Reddit explode being idiots, believing something completely out of context, not knowing anything about the situation. Go ahead and waste your time and rage against nothing and fart against the wall for all I care. Doesn't affect me. So go right ahead and waste your time. <laughs> Shout out to Hand Celebratory. He did a 25-bit cheer and made a masturbation joke, which I'm not going to read. He was the guy that got caught masturbating in front of children. It's the guy <laughs> watching his Twitch. Is that really him? Is he the yes. one that got caught? Ma yes! Really? But I want to say thank you for the cheer, and I appreciate the joke, but some people may not, therefore I can't read it. Shout out to Yolo Dopper. He cheered and said, Phil, don't worry about addressing negatives. You know the truth within you. That's all that matters. You don't need to worry about the out-of-context stuff. Well, the thing is, sadly, I hate to say it, I do need to worry about it for multiple reasons. Number one, because, as you guys know, Twitch has new stricter criteria, right? Twitch is the future. Twitch loves me and my streams. And if someone who, you know, gets a false report of which many were filed against me, 
I already saw some of them just on Twitter, <clears throat> saying that Phil's a bully, and Phil bullied a guy with depression, right? And the truth of the matter couldn't be further from the truth. But <clears throat> when you see that, you basically got to try to cover your own butt, you know? I have to make sure that the full situation is explained out there, not that some Twitch mod, you know, sees this, this out-of-context clip with no context to know what's really going on and thinks that something's happening that's not, and the next thing you know, I get punished on Twitch. Okay, that's number one. Number two, you know, I hate to say it, but, you know, public opinion is a thing. Even though I really don't care much about it and it really doesn't matter because I have so much negative shit against me. <clears throat> you know, five straight years of defamatory content and slander on the internet. Um, that really, even if people believed this thing, this new negative thing, it wouldn't really negatively affect me at all, right? But just the fact of the matter that, you know, I do need to at least have an explanation out there. <clears throat> So that at least people understand what's going on, rather than, oh, well, Phil's been accused of this horrendous thing, and he doesn't say a word about it, so therefore, he must have done it. Because a lot, that's what's, it's sad, it really is. But, for a lot of people, silence means consent, right? If you don't address something, it means it's true. Because if it wasn't true, you would address it. <laughs> Which I think is fucking stupid as hell. In reality, if I don't address it, it probably means I think it's so stupid, it's a waste of my time, mine and everyone's time, and I should just continue on normally. You know, I had to address the stupid escort situation... Back in December and January, as stupid as that was, as pointless and completely off base with zero realm of any reality or fact, <clears throat> I had to address it because so many idiots were gullible and believing it. Do you want to play the fucking game? You got people who just cannot stay out of the drama, all right? And this is real talk. There's people who just can't stay out of the fucking drama. All right, guys, I think that's enough for me. You don't want to see me, you know, crying like a fucking baby here. Oh, <laughs> All right, shout out to Timbo Slice, who cheered. He says, your trolls these days are just dumb and don't show both sides of anything. Some idiot linked me to a video about Friday. All it shows is you talking to the guy. Nowhere does it show what he actually said at all in chat. Trolls try to start drama by showing one side of the story. Get ready for Half-Life 2. Yeah, there you go, Timbo Slice. Some people are just sheep and you can't help them. They never have an independent thought on their fucking head. These people are the definition of sheep. And that's their life. What a great contribution to the planet when all you do is believe what you're told constantly and you never actually actively seek out any kind of truth. Um, it's lame, but the, the problem is there's tons of people like that. You're seriously not going to uh, get anywhere in life when you're just seriously ignoring the facts in front of your face. You know, I mean, I don't know what else to say. You don't go through life being a cow chewing your cud. Don't go through life being a sheep being led by your, your fucking ears. Or a parrot who just repeats what everyone else says. Have independent thought. Think for yourself. When you have something that maybe is evidence of something that's not common opinion in front of you. Check it out and see if it's true. Because the bottom line is. A lot of the times you're going to find a lot of people have been being dishonest with you and that's why things seem to be the way they are. I'm sorry. That's all they've done. That's all they can do because if they actually showed what was going on in the chat, it would prove my whole, you know, context, uh, you know, explanation. So they, <clears throat> they can't do that. This guy's been, you know, number one, this guy's been banned before. He's a guy who already was troll known for trolling, banned before, by the kindness of the mods, let him back in. Then he's basically making fun of me for doing a depression segment on my podcast the day before. I call him out for it, saying, I don't think you're serious. You know, let's see what you have to say. He has nothing to say. He gets timed out again. Then he comes back, and of course, they don't show the insult that he, that he says to me publicly when he comes back from his time out. So, you know, it's like every aspect of the situation in context shows that this guy is a jerk troll who is just there to, to, you know, annoy everyone. Not just me. He was annoying everybody. And people personally asked me to deal with him, which I did appropriately. You know, didn't insult the guy. Didn't go out of my way to deride him, just said, all right, if you're serious, go right ahead, and let's hear what you have to say, and of course he wasn't serious, and then he got Das Boot, which is what should happen, so don't listen to the nonsense, especially when it doesn't seem to make sense, gee, Phil's, re Phil's responding to something, but we can't see what he's responding to, but let's just believe it's something negative and bad, rather than actually get, a, a, you know, actual explanation of the situation. Sounds like something an immature person would do. Read the Phil drama show every day. Phil, the infamous multi-time masturbator. And sadly, there's a lot of those on the internet, people. So what can I say? Murdoch. What's going on, Murdoch? Murdoch tipped me $10. Are you a functional retard? I have to ask. And Murdoch says the following. He says, Half-Life 2 hype. This will be a fun playthrough. You are in for a treat. I hope this won't be the last playthrough of yours I'm able to watch. 
because of stupid new copyright laws in the European Union that they're trying to push through. Um, I've heard some stuff about this. I've heard a lot of stuff about European Union and everything. Uh, the bottom line is, even if these copyright laws go through, all right, um, I don't think they're going to massively negatively affect stuff like that. If anything, what'll happen is YouTube slash Twitch slash whoever will now have to deal with regulatory agencies on how they handle stuff on their websites. Because the bottom line is it's just been the Wild West. And everyone knows, in particular with YouTube, there is massive amounts of copyright infringement on YouTube. People steal my videos on a daily basis, right? They rip my videos out of context. No. You know, in order to make me look bad. And it's illegal, you know? Now, the European Union is basically saying these businesses can't allow people to do that anymore. You can't just have people steal shit and wave your hands and shrug your shoulders and say, oh, well, unless there's a lawsuit, we won't take action. All right? So it seems to me like maybe places like YouTube will finally have to actually do what they should have done from the get-go and set up some kind of legitimate business model that protects people's property. Um, how that will affect people in the long term, I have no idea. No idea at all. There's no way to tell, okay? But I guess we'll see what happens moving forward. Um, for me, business as usual. If something changes, I'll let you guys know. I certainly haven't heard any rumblings or inklings to that effect yet. So let's just keep going and see what happens, right? We're all along this ride together. Uh, Proxidist. Tipped me a dollar and insulted me blatantly. He says that he wants to be unbanned. However, he calls me a fucking dingus. Yeah, I'm a gamer. Gamer juice. Do you really think that that's an effective method of getting unbanned? If you do, you may be a fool. Because I am not going to unban you when you insult me in your request to unban you. <laughs> a proper way to ask would have said, can you please unban me? I'm not sure why I was banned, or can you please review the, the logs and let me know what happened so I know why I'm banned. The bottom line is this guy probably just wanted to insult me. So, there you go. Shout out to Yolo Dopper. He says, I can't believe there are people out there that believe stuff even if it's taken out of context. What a crazy world we live in. Ignorance is bliss. I mean, I don't even think ignorance is bliss. Um, I think it's more that ignorance is drama when you are immature and all you want to do is believe in the worst in other people you will believe anything you know people will believe completely fabricated stuff they'll believe out of context stuff they'll believe the dumbest shit ever just to, to laugh hysterically and say oh, you're so weird your life is so weird compared to mine <laughs> and it's really stupid i've never been like that i never been one of these drama hounds or people who like if there's someone who I don't like, I need to constantly be hearing about negative things happening to them or around them so I can feel good. <laughs> it's PewDiePie's! We get <laughs> oh, the camera's on. <laughs> Cue the Seinfeld. <laughs> oh, the camera's on. <laughs> How long have you been watching? Did you see all of that? <laughs> like, there's people out there I don't like. I don't care about them. I ignore them and I focus on my own positive stuff so that way I don't have, you know, drama constantly surrounding shit and, uh, you know, I have positivity in my own life based off of things that I do. Constru constructive, productive things. That's the way to go about life, not to focus on, on negative crap. Um, at least in my philosophy of life. So, it is what it is, you know. I don't think ignorance is bliss at all. I don't think they're living in bliss. I think they're just living in stupidity, quite frankly. Uh, call me Thick Daddy Thanks. Cheers. Says, I will always like how people spend money to insult you. It's like, oh yeah, I work so hard, so now I can try to troll Phil. Is this a new form of entertainment? I guess so. I know. Like the guy who tipped me to try to get unbanned, but then he insulted me, so obviously I'm not unbanning him. Like, it doesn't even make sense. Like, <laughs> it, does, it literally makes no sense. Oh. Then again, taking stuff out of context and putting it all over the internet to try to insult me makes no sense. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of stuff that makes no sense. The IRS will destroy me if I don't pay my taxes. I don't have money. All my money has to go to these taxes. Any, any tips sent to me go straight to the taxes. 100%. No lies because I need the money right now with this whole tax situation I'm in. I need the money. So... It is what it is. These some people just make no sense. What else can I say? Burn in hell, Burnell. And now I'm going to burn in hell for the rest of eternity because of it. You can't change who you are, I guess. Hell is a place where it's very hot. There's, you know, it's torturous conditions. Fire, hail, brimstone. Uh, you know, your, your body is being ripped apart by demons. 
who are shoving red hot pokers up your rectum. Not a nice place. Okay. Help! Save the pig. What the heck? A pig with a party hat. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggy. You see Piggy. Save the pig, the game. The whole game you're trying to save the pig's life. Help! What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.